Hello, all you powerful beings of love and light. Welcome to your Pisces new moon reading. And this Pisces new moon is going to be at its fullest on March 2nd of 2022, around 1235 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can calculate where that is in your time zone. And there is this wonderful beginning of this next cycle. You know, we have, of course, every 28 or 29 days, the new moon, full moon, always changing. The moon's always going every few days into a new sign. But there's this beautiful full moon, new moon cycle as well that happens around every five to six months. So the last full moon we had, which I'll show you this card here, was back on September 20th of last year. And you can see that it was talking about balancing spirituality and practicality. And that's the energy that we were having around that time taking practical steps towards our dreams and towards our goals, trusting our intuition. And with like the full moon, when, it, when it's its fullest, immediately the light starts to leave the full moon. And that's the energy that was happening too, is there was these endings, or at least the beginning of endings, as the light began to leave the full moon. And so this whole six month period has been about that journey and also a time of diving deep into our emotions because Pisces, you know, they're the fish, they dive deep into that water, into that emotional waters that we are. So these last six months, there's been a lot of that energy going on and we are ready for this new moon in Pisces to come around. Another beautiful card and you can see here, it says, attune to the divine. So the energy that's coming around this new moon in Pisces is about connecting to your higher self. And whereas before it was all these practical steps and making sure you're doing all the work, now we're going into this beautiful flow where it's asking us just to slip into that flow of life, flow along with our dreams, embrace what is going on. And when we do that, when we connect to our higher self and just go with that flow, then we want what is happening in our life. And what is happening in our life is what we want. We don't get so attached to the outcomes of the future or reflecting on all the mistakes and the should-haves of the past. We get to really embrace this moment and in connecting and staying in tune with our higher self. It just allows us to be further on our way to feeling blissfully happy and in tune with our dreams. So I am going to have a separate card reading for each zodiac sign and we're going to dig in more into this dream and this flow of life and what the creator wants you to know and how you can use this Pisces new moon energy. So we're jumping into your reading right now. Alright, your Aries, welcome to your Pisces new moon reading and we're going to start off by pulling a card here from these high vibe deck and just see what the creator wants you to know in this Pisces new moon energy. One more time. There we go. All right, so for our Aries, what would you like them to know about this Pisces new moon energy? Okay, they want that one there. And you got the affirmations card here. And that says, we all run negative tapes in our head. Change the tape by telling yourself positive stories. I am an amazing person. I love my life. Good luck follows me. I embrace my magnificence. I am a high vibrational being. I create affirming thoughts. I deserve love. I am joyful. I am beautiful. I have an abundance of self-worth. Beautiful, beautiful card. We're going to put it right over here. And yeah, that's definitely this transformation of this energy because the full moon in Pisces, I mean, you'd really been doing a lot of deep diving into your emotions and all those practical steps. And, you know, it seems like you might have gotten into your head and some of those old tapes that were playing that people had played and told you about your life, you know, those are ready to end. You're ready for this new way of looking at yourself and looking at your life. And we're going to pull here. I've got these black tarot, which this is going to 
represent what your subconscious wants you to know about this Pisces new moon. Because the Pisces new moon, I, I so resonate with that, with like the High Priestess card who, who dives into the unknown. That moon energy dives in to the unknown. And so the shadow is like your unconscious. It's your human self, but it's also that unconscious things in our life, all those programs that are running behind the scenes that we are not aware of. And so our shadow can provide us some great information. It's not a deceiver. It's our little buddy that goes along with us on this journey, like our tour guide. So they have our best adventure in store. And so this is the information they want to provide you around this Pisces new moon. Okay, and they want to give you these. Oh, there's actually four. Oh, actually there's five. Wow. <laughs> See the hidden, the hidden making itself known there. We're just going to put all these down here and we'll just move this over here to the side. And then we are also going to pull from the sun and moon tarot. And see what else they want you to know what the creator wants you to know about this new moon. Okay. Nope, they said not all those. <laughs> that was just me. Butterfingers. Okay, so they do want you to have these two. And these three. Okay, so five and five makes sense. So we'll start with this here. And so you have the Knight of Wands, and Wands is your drive, your ambition, your aha inspiration, your passion, and the Knights are all about action. And so this underlying drive that's been within you over these last six months, you are so ready to put all of that passion into action. And it kind of feels like you've been holding back over these six months. You've been doing the practical stuff and doing the steps, but it's like the passion for it, it hasn't really flown out like it's going for this new moon. I kind of, what are showing me in my head is like, okay, it's like they're showing me like starting a new business. I've got to register with the state and get my little tax ID number and then I got to do this and then I have to set up this and it's all those kind of unfun pieces of uh, creating a dream. You know, it's like you have to create that box and do all that and then when you get to decorate it, that's when everything gets to unfold, when you really get to start being in business, when you really start to get to express that business and that passion and that dream outwardly. But it takes some time to get those things done. And that's what I feel. It's like a, a horse that was ready to run in a race and it's wait, it was waiting for that door to fly open. And this is that door flying open. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, because you have the two of swords. And this is the swords are like your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, and this is about decisions. And so there was this beautiful realization during this time, because for me, the two of swords represents the two places that we make decisions. One is from the human side, the human mind, the logical side, all those supposed to's and shoulds and need to's of life. And that's kind of all that practical stuff we were talking about, right? But then the other side, usually they'll have like someone blindfolded and there'll be a moon on the card, which represents your intuition, your innerness, that beautiful uh, you know, trusting your gut and allowing your heart to lead instead of your mind. And that's kind of where we're at here. And this is just that reiteration that there's two of you, two places within you that you're making decisions. In fact, I have this new video series out that started at the beginning of this year called You Times Two, which I'll have linked at the end here somewhere at the end of the video, which is all about understanding the two of you that are living this human experience. And doing that helps you understand like this balance that happens between it when you're making your decisions. And we're going to see what else your shadow wants you to know. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is like Mother Nature, Mother Nurture, 
pentacles is the outside world or the coins. And so this is about abundance and birth. Um, you know, you can kind of think of it as almost like the Empress card, which is new birth, new things coming, freedom, and this beautiful abundance that is going to be flowing. But I really feel like this is really indicating this new birth with this new moon that you're finally like, yeah, they're showing me again nine months of gestation of that baby growing inside of pick you know um, putting up with the kicking and the morning sickness and you know the hormones all changing and everything else you're like oh my god but when that baby is born it's like oh you look into their eyes and you're like it was totally worth it it was totally worth the wait and that's what i feel like with this as well Yep, four of cups. So you've got um, cups are your emotions and there's that huge full moon here. And so the four of cups is usually they'll have like three cups spilled and this beautiful ace of cups being offered, which means the three other cups were things of the outside world. They're like relationships and situations and things in your body. You know, all those things we're told are supposed to fulfill us in the outside world. And, and actually, yeah, they do. She has the three cups in her hand and here's that other cup being offered here. And it's kind of like this beautiful offering of this new moon coming up here is this wholeness, this completeness. And, and it totally goes in with this card too. this, you know, those things that were supposed to fulfill you. Now you're having this flood of unconditional love, this flood coming from within that you are so ready to embrace in, in this flow. So the last six months has not been very fulfilling for you which we talked about you know the practical steps but now you have that passion this beautiful flow that's coming in in your emotional side too which is fantastic and then you have the five of spheres which would be the five of pentacles and what this is telling me your shadow is bringing up your beliefs about your worth and your ability to receive so these last six months since the last full moon has really been this challenge for you, this really rattling of your cage about your worth, about your ability to receive and that you're worthy to receive this dream. You're worthy to receive these things coming. And because the fives are all about change and about transformation. And so you normally you would see like someone like two people outside on a, you know, one, they're both barefoot, one has a crutch, the other, it's like they feel like they've been abandoned, they feel like they had no support. And it's because they were looking to the outside world, like with these three cups, those things on the outside that were, you know, supposed to get support from them. But this transformation that happens, because there's like this giant stained glass window, usually with five pentacles in it, which represents our transformation understanding that the universe, the creator, is the one who provides us our needs and supports us. The outside world is just the shipping company or the delivery man. They're not the ones that are providing it. They're just the ones that bring it to us a lot of times. And so there's this beautiful change that's happened where you stopped really looking to the outside world during these last six months to fulfill you and to be the one supporting you. And you've, you're looking higher now. You're seeing that uh, things come to you when other people weren't able to bring it to you, but suddenly you're able to have the things you need for your dream, for your life, for your relationship, whatever it is that you've been really focusing on with this goal and dream over the last six months. Yeah, because here's the King of Cups. Here's that big Ace of Cups here. And the um, King of Cups is like the ultimate love that you can receive, which is great because right in line with this understanding your worth, you have this foundation in that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. There's no conditions. There's nothing you can do to earn it, nothing you can do to lose it you have 100% of it all the time. And that is definitely very affirming for your worth and to understand that I get to have, receive, I get to have what I need in my life simply because I am, not because of anything I've done. So there is this beautiful 
story unfolding here for you regarding that. Yeah, because then you have the king of spheres. So you had the queen of spheres, now you have the king of spheres. And the king of spheres, king of pentacles, king of coins, is definitely, again, abundance, 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 and worth. Because the king of pentacles, he's at the end of the suit, and so he has gone through the whole journey of the pentacles. He tried to look outside of himself for those things to make him feel whole and complete and to prove his worth. You know, with relationships with people, whether it was romantic or family or friends or work or whatever, or situations, careers, jobs, education, whatever it might be, or in their body, the possessions, their bank account, and they found all those things to be disappointing and unstable that let them down because people change or pass away. Situations like jobs and all that never stay the same. And things break down, deteriorate, burn down, or are stolen. And so he discovered that all those things were unstable and when he was having his worth based on the outside, all that, that he felt unstable and he felt his worth was unstable. It's the difference between finding your self-worth from within, from that, that love, or from retail price on the outside. And I call it retail price because when we look outside of ourselves for our value, it's what other people value us at. So if you're this coat this beautiful warm parka coat in northern Alaska during the winter, you are priceless by that retail price on the outside. But if you are in Texas, southern Texas, in the uh, summer, middle of summer, then you are not priceless. You're on a 90% clearance rack, and that's what retail price does. That's the instability of that retail price on the outside. So there is this definitely all this beautiful about you are worthy of abundance your abundance is coming your way and it is just your kind of like your birthright yeah and then you have the queen of swords swords we talked about here are your thoughts your beliefs your mindsets your attitudes your expectations it's your way of thinking and the queen of swords she has this little ace of swords that she's wielding and what that does is it allows her to connect to the higher truths, the capital T truths, which one of these is that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And that, you know, this truth that comes out with this five of pentacles, this five of coins, this five of spheres, is that you are worthy just because of who you are and that your sustenance comes from the creator who has no limit and has endless resources, not from the humanness, right? And so there is this higher truths that are coming in um, through all of this experience that you've had. And the Ace of Swords also allows you to cut away those small T truths that no longer serve you, those small T truths about your value and your worth. And then you have the judgment card. Yep, in this judgment card, it's XX, it's card number 20, it's endings and new beginnings. And you know, we talked about this energy is about attuning to the divine, and this is definitely attuning to the divine. Usually they'll have like people in their coffins, like humans, and then a, a big um, angel with a horn. And it is all about the re revelation of who you really are, that this human side of you is merely a character, an avatar. It's a piece of you, but a very small piece of you that is having this human experience, but the actor behind this character is a powerful, supernatural, eternal spirit being made of unconditional love. And, you know, X and X is 20, 2 plus 0 is 2, comes back to this 2 of you, you times 2, and getting to know your higher self. So I really encourage you, I'll, it'll be posting here in just a moment, and uh, really look into that U times two because connecting to your higher self is the foundation where you find this love, this transformation that happens for you. Yeah. And then here's the Empress, which I talked about earlier with that Queen of Pentacles. So this is reiterating, there's the bunny rabbits. She's out in nature. She's usually, yep, she's got a little belly sticking out, little pregnant belly sticking out of her shirt. She's actually sitting on 
the new moon. <laughs> so this is so perfect about this new birth that's happening around this new moon for you. So definitely, how I understand with all these affirmations about your worth, why it's so important to really look over those and believe them because you are so worthy to receive so much in your life and this new moon is going to represent this new beginning for you. So I am loving that. I want to let you know, in addition to these readings, I also do monthly readings by each zodiac sign, weekly readings like energy updates by each of the elements like fire signs, water signs, I do the new moon, full moon, and a variety of others. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and be notified immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click that like button, can also click that subscribe button that's going to give you access to this little notification bell and then you can select all and then you'll get notified of any new video that comes out for this channel doing all of that helps spread the love because when you like a video share a video or uh, you know subscribe to someone's channel it makes the YouTube algorithm so happy that it wants to share those videos with others as well so if you want to do any of that I am very grateful for that also these are general readings if you want even more specific information then I also offer personal readings and all that information is in the description box below each and every second of every day of your life Aries you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing new moon, and I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. And until then, you take care.